Hi everyone, it's Dolly with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I have a project share for you, but before I get started, I would like to ask a favor to two of my friends in case they are watching this video for Corn Riley and for Tammy at My World in OKC. If either of you ladies are watching this, please do change the channel if you would like to be surprised. This coming video is of a pocket letter or two pocket letters, one for each of you, that I will be sending you. And like I said, if you would like to be surprised, please exit. And if you don't care to be surprised, please continue to watch. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, ladies, and thanks, everyone. Hi everyone, it's Dolly with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's a really warm day in Southern California today, but I have no complaints. It was a beautiful day. So today I have two pocket letters that I just finished up. I wanted to share them with you guys and I did want to make sure to record this before I, you know, send these out tonight. Um, I completed two, one full one, and then a half one or a smaller um, pocket letter using the um, Pixie Sticks paper pad by Paper House. And if you guys can recall, when I first bought that paper pad, I was having a really hard time deciding whether I liked it or not. And obviously I've come to really like it because I have used it in several of my projects now and I really love the fact that the colors are really bright and again it's very springy. Previously I did create a banner flag out of this um, paper and I really liked how the colors coordinated and I still had a lot of the paper left so I decided I would utilize the paper by making some pocket letters and since it's spring it's perfect so um first of all i wanted to go ahead and show you the smaller one so i have to thank my friend corn riley for this because she actually sent me this empty pocket letter i don't know where she purchases these but i had made a comment in one of her videos where she used this half size um, pocket letter that I would love to try making one in that size and she had sent me a really beautiful pocket letter for St. Patrick's Day and she's so sweet and thoughtful she included a blank one because she remembered what I said so I wanted to try making the spring theme in this half size so um, the let me show you what the first pocket says it says a friend is someone who strengthens you with prayer blesses you with love and encourages you with hope and then this pocket i just added a tiny banner with a little floating butterfly to it and this is just a sticker from dollar tree but it's so pretty because it's got a cherry blossom and then a little hummingbird and then this little one says if friends were flowers i'd pick you and then right here this is another floating butterfly and i just uh, stuck that on using a brad and then um, this is actually a sticker, this flower. And then I also added an additional butterfly, but I put that in the inside. And I haven't put any goodies back here yet, but I plan to. So I just wanted to get this filmed before I did that. So that is my small one. And then here, I always like to add the little tiny binder ring with some lace or not lace, I'm sorry, with some ribbon because I feel like these ribbons can become useful in that you can reuse them when you make tags or whatever. If she didn't want to keep this, she could take this apart and reuse this as well. All right, so the next one that I made is this one right here. And this is the larger version and it's basically a twin of this one, but it's just larger. And so I did the banner, I love using the banner. They're always so much fun, and you know they're so easy to make and so quick to make, but yet they add so much to your project. So all I've done is I've done some layering on this, as you can see, and I've added the little tiny floating butterfly with a flat back pearl in blue. And then I just added some sayings because sometimes you just need some motivational words or just some really nice sayings to remind you to be positive. So this one says, today is a good day for a new beginning. 
And this one just says, you got this. And then over here is just layered flowers. And I thought the colors went really well together. Of course, this is all from the paper, same paper pad. So the colors are definitely gonna go together, but I just loved how bright it is. So this one says beautiful. And then this is just a sticker from a sticker pack that says cherish the simple things. And see this cherry blossom tree? I think this is a cherry blossom tree. I hope it is. There's a little tiny bird right here and right here. Um, and I just thought this was so beautiful. So I cut it into three sections so that it would spread throughout this whole row. And I added some butterflies and it says beautiful. And I really like that. Okay. So this last row right here, it says be kind and it says inspire. And see this bike right here? I loved how it matched these colors perfectly. This bike here was from a sticker pack um, that came from my friend Clarissa. She had given me a beautiful floral sticker pack. It was a spring pack and it included this bicycle. And I knew right away when I saw this bike that I wanted to use it in a pocket letter. And then this is really cute. It's some more of the flowers with a little tiny bird on it. So you guys, this is fairly simple. This one is not really loud. It's kind of, I didn't want to go too loud on it because the colors are already bright. So I wanted to keep it kind of simple and just, you know, pleasing to the eye. And so I love this trim. I had bought this and you guys, I don't even remember where I bought this trim from, but isn't this gorgeous? I wish I would have purchased more. I had one little spool of this and it is so pretty. If you can see it closely, you'll see that there's like a little flower to this and I just love it. Um, I don't remember where I got it and I wish and I hope I could find it again because I really, really like it. So that is the front of my larger pocket letter and um, I haven't done anything in the back on this as well. I plan to insert goodies, you know, in the back of this, but for now I just wanted to make sure to film this and get it on video so that you guys can see it before I send it off. So that was my project share for my two pocket letters. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching because I enjoyed sharing. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye.